music by the crew. Hi, hello everyone, and welcome to Yes, That's My Kid podcast. I'm Asia, he's Anthony. Yeah, don't know that. That's Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes, we have our producer, Jacob. And on Yes, That's My Kid podcast, we talk all things parenting through our perspectives of parents of mixed children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? that's 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 what we do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And we make it fun. It's, it's, it's all things parenting. It's, it's not just like, you know, how to, what yeah. should you do? Mm-hmm. We might have a little bit of that, but we're just we're just sharing our journeys and what we're learning um, as fact. parents. So, we actually don't care what you do, to be honest. Do whatever y'all want to do. <laughs> we're going to tell you what we do, but y'all do whatever you want. Yeah, definitely do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're going to parent how you parent. That's not, you know, for us to say. It's fact. But we're, we're sharing what, what we've been doing, what may have worked, what we will hope to work. So, if you like what you hear, wait, I'm all right, I'll say that afterwards. But if you like what you hear, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, I know the spiel. Even if y'all don't like it, like, comment, share, subscribe. Just just, just get us out there. We need more subscribers, followers, all that. We want please. them. You know what I'm saying? All right. But um, I was going to say, have you guys ever seen, um, or Anthony, have you ever seen um, Zoom, that show? I think it was like a PBS show. Because the way I just said, if you like what you see, like in Zoom, it was oh, saying, yeah, nah. if you like what you see, turn off the TV and do it. Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Go on and Zoom. Come on was this like in the Zoom. 90s? Yeah, yeah. It's not like after school. Felt so was, like, oh, I'm just definitely in the nineties. All right, but no, no, it wasn't that. It was like a live show where kids would um, oh, experiment. Okay, okay. They had that whole flip cup game. They would do a whole bunch of things that they would encourage you to do at home, just like oh, okay. with things you had at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a really cool, sh- cool show. Honestly, no, it sounds pretty dope. They used yeah. to have a bunch of cool things like that, like fucking uh, what's that called? Um, Reading Rainbow. Bill Nine, the science yeah, guy. Yeah, Bill Nine, the science Bill, guy. They used to have Bill. all that dope stuff. Yeah, it came on around that time. Maybe they didn't. okay, but yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. Yeah. Um. All right. So enough of that. Listen, how's your how's your week, Asia? It's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> it is Saturday, and for Saturday, I did a lot. Yeah. Today we woke up, and I don't know. Michael decided to go to the diner, so we went to the the diner, and um, boy, this kid was wilding out in there. <laughs> this kid was bugging, and I don't know for some reason Autumn thought he was communicating with her. The kid was like, ah, ah, like, like yeah. often. And then all of a sudden Autumn was like, ah. I was like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not for you. That's not, not over for here. You. Not yeah. over here. And then the mom <laughs> had to basically carry him out to the car because he was like crying crazy, mm. just acting out. I looked at Autumn, I said, girl, Mm-mm. don't you ever think you could do that? Mm-mm. If you do, we're not going to eat out for months, I tell you. You sure. <laughs> won't be having this. I'm not doing Make, it with you. Better get happy with them chicken nuggets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we, we went to the, the diner. Then um, we went back out to Target because, as I said, I had that trip to Arizona coming up. Oh, so yeah, I wanted yeah. to find a nice little one piece because I'm not feeling like my two piece body is ready yet. <laughs> so I went to get a little sign that was cute. I usually wear um, one piece. You said what? What? You said what? Say it again. Say it. What? Say what you just said. <laughs> I said I usually wear one piece. Boy, you lying. Whatever. We already know what you be wearing. You already know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> one pair of shorts. <laughs> they're tiny. They're tiny, you guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And then my brother just recently closed on a condo. Dope. So Congrats. I, uh, shout out to him. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to him. So he's like looking for furniture and we kind of went... Um, shopping around for that so it's a full up. day and then we got yeah, some movies afterward yeah he found a little couch set that he liked okay yeah did y'all did he cop it or he gonna think on it yeah oh actually did he he bought it yeah okay, he, um it's not gonna come until may but okay. um jake just reminded me so typically i am the late one to this arrangement here to our recording sessions and and it's because, like, you know, I put down the baby or I help. I have some part of the routine on these nights that we record. And then I go put on my makeup. Mm-hmm. So Jake came here. Jake was here about, like, five, maybe ten minutes early. I was like, dang, I heard the music outside. I'm like, damn, he's here. So, like, <laughs> I'm running up the stairs. That's why I text, like, oh, let's open the door. Yeah, yeah. So I run up the stairs. I go do my makeup. And I'm rushing because I'm thinking you're already set up. Like, Anthony, even though it's Jake and I. Mm-hmm. Anthony typically sets up quicker than we do. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I don't want to keep you guys waiting. 
So I did my makeup pretty quickly and I turned off the light and was almost like darted out of there and stubbed my toe on oh, the wall. Bro. I was on the ground. Like, <laughs> oh, like, you God. okay? You okay? <laughs> Oh, and I'm a, on the ground still, like my toe is throbbing. Oh, I'm, like, Ugh. I'm just trying to get downstairs. <laughs> and um, I get downstairs and Anthony's not picking up the phone. Then Anthony finally picks up the phone and Anthony's at the store. Grocery store, yeah. Had to get the some grocery things. store. Had to pick some things up. I was <laughs> rushing and you weren't even in the like the studio. Like you were shopping for water. <laughs> Water and dog at food. Nine o'clock at night. Cat food. Yeah. What do you want? What Water and cat food. It's more at so nine like nine thirty. It's like nine thirty. <laughs> Bro, what am I going? If I get pulled over, what am I going to say? It's nine thirty <laughs> at night. I was going to some water and cat food. Right. At nine thirty at night. <laughs> like what a fine right. time. What a but. fine time. <laughs> I done stubbed my toe to just be down here chilling. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. Oh my gosh. I mean, well, when y'all got here, I was on waiting. So barely. Barely. You're like, Jake, you're going to pray and you're walking around. Like, you know when we pray, you're supposed to sit in silence. <laughs> you're over here still doing things. That's a fact. That's a fact. Alright, it was my fault this time, guys. Again, mm-hmm. I'm, they want me to be the bad guy. All right. Not this again. <laughs> Not this again. It says again. <laughs> but no, that's so, yes. what's up. I'm glad yes. you had a good day. You had a very active it was day. Good. It sounds like it was all centered around personal stuff, not work related. So that was awesome. Yeah, I did one. I did one work related thing. When you guys called earlier, I was doing work, and I do have more. And I didn't feel like doing it, Yikes. so I was like, "Nah." I actually, I, I had pink Nina, and I was like, "Nah, it looks like it's nice outside. I'm off. <laughs> I'm walking sure. off." That's and, good. I mean, nobody else hit me up. I mean, and so she asked some questions. Yeah, I answered a little, little bit, little, but um. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't signing back on. But tomorrow will probably be a full day because Autumn and Michael are going out with um, okay. his friends and I think his family going to do something. So That's dope. That's awesome. I'll good be stuff. catching up. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. How was your day? My day was good. I went up. Um, So Anaya started her swim today. Um, mm-hmm. Swim lessons. She liked it. She did good. We got there an hour early. We An hour? Got, yeah, because we messed up the time. We thought it was 9.30, but it was like 10.30, but they let her in at 9.30. Okay. So we got that. Then we went to Atlanta and had um, brunch with my cousins mm-hmm. and um, my sister and my nephews and, and my brother-in-law and stuff. And um, it was nice. It was super nice. I hadn't seen my cousins and cousins and one of them I hadn't seen in a few years. The other one I hadn't seen since like July. And um, mm-hmm. but it was nice. The place was called, I think, like, I think like Batika or something like that. But okay. they were delicious. Um, I got like steak and eggs and potatoes. Okay. And that was probably like the best steak I ever had in my life. Mm. Um, but the place is really good. It was super, super tasty. And then we came home and just chilled out. I tried to take a nap, but it was a lot going on. Mm-hmm. And um, my man's is walking now. So he was just yeah. pushing and bugging. Oh, yeah. So shout out. Shout out to my man's. He started walking. Yeah. On Cute little bit on Instagram. Yeah, I'm saying. yeah check out the gram. Mm-hmm. He's up there walking. Um, but yeah, so then that was it. That was, that was really it. We just chilled back at the crib. Uh, did a bunch also, of stuff, guys, yeah. though, I, I witnessed, Jake and I witnessed, I think for the second time this week, Amy, Anthony be playing with you. Let, we want you to know, Amy, it is not <laughs> us. We be on the other line, like, just hang up the phone. Just hang <laughs> up the phone. Anthony, Anthony be trying her, yo. <laughs> he he was that. in the car trying to explain something to us. And I think you were putting your lives in danger because all I heard Amy say, he could do that all he wants by himself. <laughs> That's exactly what she'd be like. She'd be like, do what you want by yourself. Right? <laughs> drive however you want to drive. Do uh, Shave your head and talk on the phone at the same time while you're driving when you're by yourself. <laughs> and I was like, we were like, Anthony, just hang up. Just hang up. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not even looking at the phone. I got to look at the phone for the, uh, um, for the directions anyway. And I'm like, Lord. <laughs> yeah, no, that joke was funny. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, we love each other. We, we just silly. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, just hang up. <laughs> <laughs> But it's all good. Yeah. But yeah, that was my day, though. Yeah. So let's talk about what's in your feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Asia, what was in your feed this week? Um. Well, guys, <laughs> I, I guess we're going to talk about... Actually, your, your king, right? He's the king of, <laughs> um, of the A. <laughs> He's the king your of king. the A. That was a good one. That was a good one. Um, T.I., <laughs> Tip. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Harris, um, I guess yeah. pulling a wheel on a hop on stage, snatched mics out of uh, a woman's hand mm. Mm. because uh, 
I, I guess people are calling it a joke, but from my understanding, T.I. was heckling her for a lot of her set. She laughed at some things. She finally had enough of it. And I think he was telling her to take her wig off. I just want to, you know, a quick, it, yeah, yeah a, a quick rewind to Will and Jada. Everybody's like, protect black women, alopecia, bald head. Now we got T.I. telling a woman to take off her wig. And it didn't really seem like people were crying about it at I heard first. Crickets. I heard crickets. Right? You know what I'm saying? Silent. So he told her to take off her wig. And I believe she responded and basically said, I'll I'll take it off when you address the allegations. Mm-hmm. And he, he just went off. Lost Went it. off. Lost it. Had a whole fit. Cussing her it. out. Calling her types of bees. Hopped up on the stage. Like, put his hands on her, to, you know, in an attempt to hug her. And then just snatched the mic out of her hand. Like, mm-hmm. don't come in my space. Don't mm-hmm. touch me. Don't snatch things out of my hand. Yeah. Call me all types of names, and then and then try to be like, oh, I'm defending my family under that guy's. Like, no, yeah, you're not really doing that, sir. Facts, <laughs> crazy. Like, yeah, no one even really came after your family, and people again in the comments caping for the celebrity man because a lot of people before the the woman, I think her name is Lauren, mm-hmm. the comedian, before she came out and kind of fully gave her side of the story, there were a lot of people in the comments going, nah, this is what I'm saying. Y'all got to stop playing in people's faces. Stop talking about their wives and their family. Like, T.I. is defending his family as he should, as yeah. he should. Nonsense. All right. So let's break this down. There's a mm-hmm. couple of things, right? Mm-hmm. First off. First off. Okay. If first of all, if, you if hit you're, the first of all. For real, man. If you're heckling somebody, you're, you're putting yourself in a position, you're heckling a comedian. You mm-hmm. know what they do? You know mm-hmm. what they do. They're good at it. They're, they're comedians because they're good at what they do. So you're heckling a comedian. So you're putting a target on yourself. So if you got some things in the closet, especially as a celebrity, my guy, you know your stuff is out there. You you saying, hit me, hit me. I dare you to hit me after you spitting in somebody's face. I dare you to hit me. So and that's she did first it. Off. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's, that's first off. And then the fact that um, and then there's just a cadence and, and a way to man- handle yourself when you're a comedian that. T.I. is not privy to because he's not that's not his industry. That's not his mm-hmm. space. There's a way you go about that's like that's like um if you're an athlete, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like this. Like if you're an athlete, if you're playing basketball or football or any type of sport, you smack your guy in the butt. You know what I'm saying? Good job, yeah. homie, da da da. That's how it is in that sport. You're not gonna do that in real life and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. there's it's things that are allowed and appropriate for those sports. There's things that are allowed and appropriate in comedy mm-hmm. that we are not privy to because we're not comedians. T.I. is not a comedian. So, I mean, he's trying to be. Yeah, but he's not of that. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, he, he puts himself in spaces due to his celebrity, but mm-hmm. he's not of that. So he doesn't know the the mannerisms and, and the way to carry yourself. So a comedian heckling another comedian, from my understanding, that's like a mega no-no. Like you can get banned from clubs for doing that because you understand the space. You know what right. I'm saying? So a comedian, and if he's considering himself a comedian, heckling another comedian, that's like, bro, like, you know, I just put rehearsal into this. Mm-hmm. Like I got a mm-hmm. whole set I'm trying mm-hmm. to do. And on top of this, from my understanding, it was an open mic. So you get five minutes. So and, and with open mics, a lot of comedians will try to uh, work out some of their jokes to see how they hit. Yep. So if you got a heckler that's effing up your jokes, you don't even know if your jokes are actually hitting. So mm-hmm. this is your rep time. Yep. So I just think he was out of bounds on all fronts. And then for her to say what she said, it's not that goddamn deep. Because he was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? It, um, none of them are true. If they're not true, then chill out. What, you so what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Then like, what are we doing? Ch- chill out. But I feel like he was out of pocket on every front. I uh, give it to her. She definitely handled it. And even, even mm-hmm. when he was like hugging her, she was still like, you know what I'm saying? Like standing on her joint. She was. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Even like, now, she's like, I'm not taking it back. You yeah. know? And she shouldn't. And she shouldn't. To T. me, she's defending place. herself. <laughs> yes, 100%. T.I. Uh, was just completely out of place. That's mm-hmm. not, he. You like I said, he hasn't been in the game in that space long enough to know the appropriate ways to do things. I heard something before, like he did um he did a, a five minute. It was supposed to be a five minute. I, I think it was on that same show. Mm-hmm. He was only supposed to get five minutes. He took a half an hour. Boy. That's that's another thing that's like a no no in yeah. that industry, that community, the comedy community. It's just things that we don't know about because we're not comedians. But if you're a comedian, you know like the do's and don'ts. And it's just such yeah. a like, bro, that's disrespectful. Like what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he has a level of entitlement and privilege Absolutely. because of his celebrity where he's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm here now and mm-hmm. I'm going to do what I want to do because hey, I know all about this because I'm fucking yeah. T.I. and I'm running Atlanta and da-da-da. Shout out to Atlanta and T.I. because <laughs> I want to I be. 
saying? Don't be talking about your king like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know the king of the A. Yeah. So that's my take on it. And I just think he was 100% out of pocket. And yeah. I think anybody who can perform is corny. They're so corny and they're only doing it because of CI. Like y'all, mm-hmm. I, I, whoever they're does doing that is because of TI and because of what Will did. And everybody's like, defend your family. Stop playing with in people's faces. And Stop like, it. She really was not coming for his family. No, no, not in the slightest. And if it was a joke, fine. It was a fucking joke. Leave it at that then. It's jokes, mm-hmm. bro. We Everybody getting offended by jokes. Shut up. Let them happen. And like I said, he put himself in that position. She wouldn't have, if he wasn't saying that and she wasn't going to go she off was like, not gonna go. Yeah. out of nowhere. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, yeah. But that's my take. I had to get yeah. that off because I saw the video today and I was like, it was out of pocket. Mm-hmm. There was no defense. I, I, I couldn't find one because that was crazy. There was none. I don't, like even before she got her word, word out, I don't know how people were like, nah, he's not wrong. I was like, are you guys sure? <laughs> like, did you see what happened? Yeah. Even even us not hearing her joke, the way he responded, the way he was all it was in crazy, bro. He was going off. How oh. is that acceptable for yeah. a joke? Like even the joke, if, even if it was so damning, you yeah. guys thought that was an appropriate response. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I can't imagine this dude if they ever go on like they do celebrity roasts like on Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. is he? And you know people are gonna go. They go so deep and just hurtful. Hurtful. He wouldn't be able things. to handle it. He would not be able to handle it. Mm-mm. So don't put yourself in a space if you can't handle the shit. Don't put yourself in a position or a space to be for that to be an option. That's my take. Yeah. You have anything yeah. else with that, Angel? Nah, that was that was very trash. You already know what I said, you know, yeah. offline about that man. But <laughs> so trash. So trash. But, he does himself yeah. no justice. No justice. I'll tell you what, that those actions definitely didn't help his allegations. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I never put my hands on no woman. You crazy? I'll knock your ass out. <laughs> that shit don't help. Yeah, it did not look good. Not to me. Mm-mm. Not to me. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. So, so yeah. So that's my take on it. And mm-hmm. uh, seems like you're you're in agreement for the most part. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Completely. He was a clown for that. One hundred percent. So, all right. So now we're gonna go on to our today's topic. And yeah. I'm gonna let you answer this because I went I went off pretty much in that last you know in your feed joint. <laughs> so no, you didn't answer it first. <laughs> Ask your question. Set it up. Set it up. Well, I got to answer it first. Because I'm going to tell you why. Ask the question, then I'll tell you why you should answer it first. Okay. So the question is, what perception of you do people have when they see your kids? That's the question. That's the question. Yes. That is the question. And I guess I'll I'll answer first. I was going to tell you why. I I will have you choose to answer first. So initially, I was like, you know, this would be a better question for you to kind of lay out or, or set the tone for it because you actually have a child of age where people won't just have a perception of your ch- your child's um your children's parents just based on looks like for Naya she's actually speaking they can see her mannerisms and I think that they will have more to go off of so initially that's why I've seen like you know maybe you should set the tone for it but I guess I have a a a couple of things to say about that. So right now with autumn, I think mostly people have, to, um, all they have is to go off of looks, right? There's not, you know, babies will be babies. They'll, they'll have their tantrums. So I don't think they can really say too much of that. I don't think autumn hasn't actually had a tantrum outside of the home. Mm-hmm. Boy, right now she's here and it's pissing me off, but <laughs> outside of the home, she does not do that. She's pretty friendly. Now she says, hi, she also says die because that's mm-hmm. the way she says oh, bye. Snap. Right? It's, it's weird. I'm oh, like, snap. Oh. So, <laughs> die. I'm like, I told her that's well, bad. Getting because, in the car. Right? Like you're saying bye to someone, but you're actually saying die. And it's kind of like, ee, that seems bad, Autumn. It seems like a bad omen. But she's so happy saying die. <laughs> like, that's a horror flick. Oh. Die. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but when they see Autumn, one thing they are for sure going to see when she leaves this house, she will be dressed well. She's not going to, even if I look a mess, which I very well did today, I ain't looking nothing like this. I look acceptable right now. When I walked outside today, I look crazy. But Autumn, she, she, you know, she looked yeah. well dressed. She looked, she looked like somebody loved her. Yeah, they do. Sure. They love yeah. her. <laughs> so um, I believe that when they see her, at least they know that she's cared for. She has her mm. necessities. And 
that also makes me think about conversations that Michael has had with with people in his family where they asked before. Because often when she takes pictures, I always be like, Michael, where's her head in? Like, put her head in or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so someone asked, like, oh, yeah, why is that? You know, because he he was with Autumn without me around him. And he was like, oh, wait, before you take that picture, let me put this head me in on. Because mm. I will always tell him. And they're like, oh, you know, wh- why is that the case? Why why does she want, always want head me in on? It's like, for me, my child is going to be presentable. Her hair is not going to be looking crazy. Like, right now, you know, she could have a ponytail in, but she's going to take all the clips. So at least she yeah. has something in to make it look neat. Yeah, for sure. Also, my baby forehead a little big, so the head man <laughs> <laughs> draws the attention away from her forehead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so That's like, funny. It's, it's, and, and third, it's part of her ensemble. I put these head mans together to match her outfit. Mm-hmm. This is wh- how I chose for her to go outside in this world. Yeah. So <laughs> she needs to have her whole outfit together. Yeah. And. And and that's because I need her to look presentable. Yes. And and I do say the word need. Like you are representing me when you walk outside of this mm. home. So I do need you to be presentable. And I think that I honestly think for I think a lot of black households have this. And mm. and I say that because my mom one day, I think it was last weekend, I went to my cousin's uh like baby sprinkle, which is kind of like a toned down baby shower. Mm-hmm. And I was getting dressed. My mom just popped in because she had an Uber ride around here. And she saw me getting dressed and Autumn was just still like in house clothes, hair mm-hmm. looking crazy. And here I am like, you know, making myself look nice. And she was like, uh-uh, uh, what you, what is she wearing? What you putting on her? <laughs> yeah. I was like, first of all, you ever seen her leave this house? Looking yeah. crazy like that, <laughs> but like, but that's her whole thing. Where like she's sure. she's not gonna leave this house ever looking yeah. wild. Right, right, right. So basically, my my answer is like, when they see Autumn, they're gonna know she's cared for. Yeah, she's she's not gonna look like you know homey and crazy and and dirty. I mean, kids will be kids, so there will yeah. be times I'm sure where she comes back and her shirt looks crazy. But for sure, for the most part, she'll be put together. So, do you think that um, is that how you think that people picture you? Like if they never see you and they just see Autumn, right? Um, if they never see me, yeah, they're they, gonna they, think like they're gonna think also too because um, I don't. Autumn doesn't really walk outside of here in those little tights and stretch pants, like unicorn pants that a lot of kids have. She mm-hmm. wears just jeans, so I think they're gonna think she's a little stylish. She has these mm-hmm. nice little cheetah shoes she be wearing, yeah. these nice little cute boots. Yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna be like, ah, you know, she's yeah. a cute little stylish girl. You know, yeah. Mama might look like that too. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they'll be- think that. Um, I also believe that if she is ever with just one parent, and this is to us speaking, you know, about our mixed children, I think people will wonder, hmm, what's the other parent? <laughs> what does that like? What does the other parent look like? Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> clearly something is off here. <laughs> like if they're just looking at me. Dang that baby light. Yeah, yeah. What the other parent gotta be something else. Or if <laughs> Autumn is just with Michael, they're probably like, I see a little bit of color yeah, in her. Something there. Yeah. Mm. This mm, got mm. a little curls in there. Interesting. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I, I think they'll probably have that that thought. Yeah. But other than that, right now they're kind of just like, hi. Like the attention is just like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Yeah. Hi. Right, you know? right. Do you think that do you think you fit their perception of you? Like, Do I if, think if I you're fit? not there, so, so like, if, if, if Michael's out with, with mm-hmm. your daughter and the person doesn't know you, mm-hmm. do you think that generally how they would think you look is how you look? It could just be overall. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be race wise. It could just be overall, like, not skin color wise, uh, just your put togetherness and all that. I think they'll, if they were to see me, I think they probably would perceive me to look like something else. And if they were to see me, they were like, damn, he put that? Like, I'm a baddie. No, <laughs> 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 it's <was> Funny, yo. <laughs> um, I, I don't really know. I don't yeah. really know, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what they would picture. I think they yeah. would just think that, like, mom's dressing her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's totally okay. what they would believe. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, I think, I think in my case, I think that last comment, I think that's definitely accurate. Um mm-hmm. With Anaya, because I feel like so obviously she goes to school and stuff like that. The reason this question even came up is because um, Anaya has a, a friend, like her best friend at school, who is just like really, really nice. And like she doesn't like when other kids like say bad words and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So Amy pictured said one day, like, I bet her I, I picture her mom is like a nun. 
<laughs> just because <laughs> just because the girl is like such like a, a good good girl essentially like she doesn't partake in anything any negative stuff and she always gets like the special points for being like a good kid and mm-hmm. that um so that so amy pictures her as like a nun um so i was like dang um i wonder how people like picture us but i think that anaya so when people see anaya i think i think they see her as like super well kept and clean and sweet and all this stuff because she amy makes sure she's like you know on point when she leaves the house like Mm -hmm. similar to you like we can't she's not leaving unless she's like you know on point Mm -hmm. um and looks presentable Mm -hmm. but you know me i don't know i don't think that i would fit that description necessarily (laughs) i feel like i always look effective (laughs) (laughs) like like i know people who are very well put together like they just they just like as adults they just look really good like put together and stuff me i'll be out with sweatpants and a Mm t-shirt or something like that um but i think like looks and stuff like that or or from a physical standpoint i think that is something that is prevalent in the black community but Mm -hmm. also even like the hispanic community too because Mm -hmm. it's just it's just a no-no like you can't go out looking any type of way right um and to your point about like representing you i always look at it like the analogy like when you go to an interview you look the best you can right because you're going to be representing the company that will potentially hire you Mm -hmm. so at the end of the day your kids represent you right um and and also going back to the other thing you said in terms of like they know that they're well taken care of is like you i feel like you you invest time into like your most um the things that mean to you the most right Mm -hmm. you invest time and energy into the things into your marriage into your kids that's what those things mean the most to you Mm -hmm. um so i think yeah i think that in some aspects i think people picture me they definitely picture me as a as a black man um, <laughs> obviously yeah, so they, def- <laughs> they definitely picture me being a black man but i don't know i'm wondering if th- i think they definitely picture me bald i think they picture me clean cut bald um maybe that's just how i picture myself <laughs> yeah because i'm like that's too detailed Come that on. is too detailed you think so <laughs> yes but i don't know i feel like there's a lot of black men that's bald though stop just, it like, come on yeah. they be having to fade like that's, that's what i see you know nice little number that's two true. number one so I'm like not just bald yeah you think at, at our age range you think so like we'll say 33 yeah. to 38 you think it's a lot of people with like well now 38 now you're going a little far but <laughs> <laughs> i'm just going with that range because i'm like that's probably like the parent parental i range think i for... still st- see here yeah. yeah i still see here i could just be hating um i'm just think about the people you be, yeah you definitely hate because like yeah, think yeah. about the people you hang with are they are they all bald because that's a no oh, that's a fact <laughs> <laughs> that's corny that's so trash i think i'm the only bald one aside from my cousin who lives in connecticut but out here i think i'm the only bald one that's yeah not, that's true so. <laughs> but yeah overall I, th- I think i think it's, it's half and half that Which, the do you here. think that based on people who interact with the naya right and, mm-hmm. and can i guess assess her uh intelligence mm-hmm. do you believe that they perceive her parents to be educated or have um secondary education you know beyond high school yeah for sure mm-hmm. i definitely um i definitely think so uh i think she, she, she her vocabulary is pretty pretty big like she mm-hmm. uses a lot of um she's always used like pretty big words yeah she would um she would hear it and she would ask that's one of like her strengths like her um one of the things that we try to feed into she's good with memorizing and she's really good with uh with remembering words Mm-hmm. So those are things that we always try to feed into by like not doing a whole lot of baby talk because she, nice, she'll take yeah. a word in and she'll she'll hold on to it and she'll use it like the next day in a sentence. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that from an intellect standpoint, I think that um, people do perceive that her parents are like smart people. Mm-hmm. Now, when they see me, I don't know if they actually, actually think <laughs> that. I think when they speak to me, they would. But um and that's just because I feel like I feel like sometimes um, when I go pick her up from school, like if I got to pick her up early and stuff, I, I feel like they're not expecting me to be because, like I said, I'll, I'll come out with my, my chucks and some mm-hmm. sweatpants, uh, maybe a tank top or something. <laughs> 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 like I literally just got out. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. The whole bit. Yeah. Like, let's and, go, baby. Let's go. Right? <laughs> And they got this sweet little girl coming through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they got me that look like I just did 10 or something. <laughs> but 
But yeah, how about you? Do you think so? Do I think what exactly? Do you think that your help when people look at or listen to your daughter or watch her movements and stuff? Do you think mm-hmm. that they think that you're active and involved in her development? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, what, but what I, age because range? I your your daughter's eighteen months. Yeah, eighteen months. All right, but yeah. So so like I don't think there's too much they can really assess at yeah. the moment, but it's like I think they they can I though. Think, you think because so? just like just like just like you can just go based on how your kid acts at a restaurant, right? I guess so. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like how how your kid acts when when she's with Michael, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then you can say, oh wow, that that household is like they kind of on point. Like they yeah, they're not just like lackadaisical. Not to knock any parents or anything, but they're very yeah. they're they're um aware of these things and like attentive to these things and just like you know you can you can tell just like you said one of the kids was kind of acting out <laughs> yeah i think that um and i don't know if I'm, I'm off with saying this but i perhaps people may believe that she comes from a two-family household mm. and even like um this this week we were kind of we went on tours to daycare and I don't know, like the daycares we were looking at, I don't believe would be accessible to to all types of family, their income levels. So okay. I think they can, mm, yeah. at, from from things like that, interaction maybe from the doctor when they see us, when we have to, like on forms and people sure. that we complete, I think they like, oh, okay, they have good jobs. You know, okay. they're good. You know, they, these are educated parents in that, yeah. in that way, just because of what we have access to. Even when we go to swim, I, I don't think that they think we're just... I don't know, parents that don't have secondary education. I think that people yeah. will tend to believe that yeah, based yeah. on some of the activities that we do. Yeah. Okay. If that makes sense. Does that. that make sense? No, that makes perfect sense. That okay. makes perfect sense. And nobody take nothing, no type of way. We both come from yeah. single parent households, yeah. so chill the yeah. freak out. Well, um, what? Ish. Yeah. I mean, my mom, yes. But then, like, when I was with my dad, I had my stepmother, too. But, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not I, knocking anyone. I'm just yeah, thinking, yeah. too, like, even when I think of, of behavioral things, like, when you're a single parent, especially if you have more than one kid, it's mm. hard to give the kids equal attention or enough attention. So they might wall out in a store. And I think perhaps, as we, at least with the first child, right, um, mm-hmm. and, and you have two parents, that's two to one. And mm-hmm. so they're getting a, a lot of attention and perhaps they'll, they'll listen more and maybe not act out as much. But I could be way off. Yeah. Um. No, I can see that. I think that I think my mother, um, she she would like agree. So we were when I was a kid, we were great, like outside the house and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then she would say she would just like let us rock out at home as long as mm-hmm. we was cool outside because um, yeah, we used to break everything. Not even attention, but we was just because we was tripping in the house. <laughs> so we used to like break so much stuff. But outside the house, it was all good. People say her compliments of how good mm-hmm. we were. Da, da, da. Um. Yeah, I'm not even sure the relevance of what uh, what that was to what you just said. Uh, mm, <laughs> your experience, Life, yeah, <laughs> experience with a single parent, yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so let's break. Um, so what else is there? So we touched on that. Mm-hmm. Um, let's think about this. So, do you have perception of how you'll be? Blah blah blah. What are your perceptions of other people and their kids? Okay, we can go with that. Yeah, so like when when you see other children out, what are some thoughts that you have based on what the child is doing, what the ch- or what the child is wearing, or even when you see the parents, whether it just be one parent or bo- or both parents, what are some thoughts that you tend to have, and and having those thoughts, do you actively do things differently so people don't have those same thoughts about you? Mm, that's a good one. That was a good one. Um, so, all right. So going to your first question. Okay. So doing this in reverse and looking at, I'll say what I think about the kid and or the parent when I see the kid alone. Um, so if I see another kid alone, I usually kind of assess them similarly to how I assess my daughter mm-hmm. in the sense of like, okay, how basically, what are they wearing? How like kind of put together are they kind of sort of, because that's like we said, is a representation of who their parents kind of are. Um, mm-hmm. as people so i definitely do like a quick scan of okay cool they look like you know they're they're put together well um and then based on like how they're treating others i base them and you'll see this when you get your kid in, in middle school and um in school like elementary mm-hmm. school so 
I base I base this stuff on a lot. So um, I think I in the last podcast or maybe the one before I said that some of the kids like say some wild stuff at a nice school. And I just be like, yo, who, who, I got to see your parents because I got to know who raised you. Like, who is raising <laughs> who raised you? Because if you saying this and you acting wild like this, I got to see your parents. Because mm-hmm. in my head, I'm like, your parents is, is, is some assholes. It's like, they got to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. For real, yo. Because I'd be like, <laughs> like, some of the kids be so mean and they'd be like, they, like, one, one kid bluntly said, um, told her, asked Anaya for something. And I said, no. She said, well, I'm just going to steal it. Oh. I said, I said, okay. Well, oh. then you're you're I mean, something's going on at home. Yeah, where you think damn. it's you think it's okay to tell somebody that you're gonna steal. You're gonna give stuff. it to me. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it anyway. Woo. So that's why I'm like, yeah, you, I don't know what who's yeah. raising you or what's going on, but <laughs> that gives me a depiction of the morals and everything that you that you're operating under. Um yeah. and at such a young age, you pick that up somewhere. Yeah, woo, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. Yeah. So that's what I mean in terms of um, I do place a fair amount of emphasis on uh, when I see a kid, how they're uh, my depiction of their parents. Mm-hmm. Um, now, the other part. Yeah. So I think that kind of plays into a little bit subconsciously mm-hmm. into like how I want Anaya to like represent us. Too. Right. Um, you know, we, we, we're we super active in all that stuff in terms mm-hmm. of, you know, being having manners and stuff like that and saying thank you and all that stuff. Absolutely. That's, that's important. Um, so, yeah. So, like you have some home training. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. That's a fact. Um, and then there was a, a third part of the question. I mean, I think you pretty much answered it. But I have a, another question. As far as uh, appearance goes... Are Crocs the new wave? Are are they new, the new J's for kids? Like we went when we went to visit one of the schools in daycares. I don't know if it's because I'm so young. They all have some Crocs on. So like, I, is that is that yeah. it for kids? I think it is kind of sorta. I'm not a big fan of Crocs personally. Okay, I know why? that. I mean, I, you know what? Because I think just because um, Crocs are essentially clogs. And mm-hmm. back in the day, '90s, clogs were popular for when you worked at the hospital. So my mm-hmm. mother, I associate them with working at the hospital. My mother worked mm-hmm. at the hospital for you know my entire life. Yeah. So I just associate clogs with working at the hospital. Um, now they're called Crocs because that's the brand, but that's yeah. like the main thing. Yeah. But um, I'm personally not. Um, I don't know. They just don't really seem comfortable for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Anaya has a pair or two. Um, but yeah, I, I don't dislike them. I'm just not a fan of them for like me or anything like that. I know like mm-hmm. a lot of dudes wear them and stuff, but it's just not for me. Yeah, we just. So like, like I said, one of the schools we toured, <laughs> a lot of kids had them. So I was like, dang, Autumn, are you going to need some Crocs? But we was in Target and we got some dupes, even though I don't really like getting dupes. But Michael was like, come on, they're like $16. Like Crocs are probably like $30, <laughs> 40 Like, let's just test them all. You know, we're going to grow anyway. Yeah. But I don't know. I never really looked at Crocs as stylish. So I never really cared about them. But all yeah. these kids be wearing them. Like, yeah. Now, it seems like it. it's the end thing. Yeah. Um, so do you assess kids like when you see other kids do you assess absolutely them? yeah i do yeah yeah i do i'll be like these kids look a mess <laughs> <laughs> these kids look a fucking mess i appreciate no, you I'm no i do though for real i like even and i'm not saying like i'm not one of those type of people like kids should be dressing up as grown-ups or anything you know yeah. having the latest and greatest i'm not that person but i think you should look presentable Fact. like there's definitely things that I mean, you know, I get the things kids kids will want to dress themselves. I'll absolutely give all them the opportunity as well. But sometimes here be looking all wild. Yeah. Especially like sometimes for these um these these mixed parents and 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 if they don't have the right mama in the household and in, in that relationship and they hear look crazy. Boy. I I, I always say to Michael, and I don't know if it's morbid, but I'm like, dear God, like God forbid, do not let me go before my time and do not if and I say, Michael, if I go first, you find someone to do this child's <laughs> hair. You learn or you find someone. That's do funny. Do not yeah. have my kid out here looking crazy. Amy said the similar things, because like I said, <laughs> she handles all like the clothes and everything. Mm-hmm. And um going to your point about getting dressed, that's probably gonna be super hard for you of letting mm-hmm. your kids get dressed. Yeah. That is like one of the <laughs> things that like irks amy so bad <laughs> she's like she she wants to give her an opportunity but 
<laughs> you know, kids be kids. Yeah. And Amy's like, no. No. <laughs> I'm not trying to stifle your creativity, but this is not it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can be creative, go draw something. But, <laughs> go draw. <laughs> but right now, we're not going out no. like this. And she says something her. similar of like, yeah, like if, if anything happens to me, if she says that too. Like, don't I hope that happens to me. Yeah. I truly do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope not. But no, it's not, and 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 even manners, right? Their mannerisms, yeah. like people uh, you know, there's certain communities that don't even they never even heard of manners, boy. Mm-hmm. They don't even know how to say please and thank you. Yeah. It it, it takes me off. And I be correcting people if if yeah. I hold a door for you and you just walk out and they'll say thank you. I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> You're welcome. And, and kiss me. And I see kids just, you know, out yeah, there, yeah. no manners at all. Like, so you know what's funny is like, um, because it may just be because maybe the pandemic time or whatnot, um, or just because they're and I is young and she we, she's around us most of the time. Uh, that stuff is like so foreign to her. So she thinks everybody, and that's one of the things of like going to this newer school that she's having to experience. Everybody's not like how you were raised. Mm-hmm. So she'll, um, one of the things that, that we used to harp on is like, Anaya will be like, hey, hey, I said, thank you. I said, thank you. I said, or, or <laughs> no, no, she goes, she goes, she, you didn't say thank you. You didn't say thank you. Uh, yeah. she'll, she'll, hey, hey, you didn't say thank you. Like she'll keep doing it because she's so used <laughs> to us and family and stuff saying thank you mm-hmm. or, or please. Or, or she'll be like, daddy, you didn't say please. Mommy, she didn't say please. Hey, you didn't say please. <laughs> and that's like, that's something that we were like working with. Like, all right, you, you don't got to, if they don't say anything, then don't worry about it. Now yeah. you know better for next time. They don't appreciate it. Then that's what it mm-hmm. is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, that's, that's tough though. Yeah. That is something interesting to teach your kids. Like, you know, you can't expect that others have been raised as, as you are being raised at this moment. Yeah, and that's probably hard for for children to understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, oh, but yeah, but so let's bring this back to the mix component. Okay, um, yes, that's a fact, bro. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, yo, 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 you. When you talk about, let's talk about. Um, so if I see if I see a kid that I know is mixed, uh-huh. and I see their hair is wild. I know who's I know I know who's what you know right I was like you know who the right. black parent is and the, like, you know who's yeah, the other yeah. parent right. I know exactly I know exactly what they mix with right <laughs> I'm like damn yeah yo that shit look wow boy that joint be tough and um mm-hmm. yeah so my my niece does hair and um she's like 16 and mm-hmm. she does hair and she's been doing like a lot of like um mixed race kids and stuff. So my sister be telling me like some of the things and she like is it's, it's easy to spot like who the mama is. <laughs> oh damn. It's so easy to spot who the mama is. <laughs> that and that's crazy to think that like you don't see your kid looking like that. Like I know you used to your hair looking a certain way like cuz it's just a different texture so it might mm-hmm. just be easy to wash that and you know walk outside at home. Right. Right. But when you see your kid standing next to these other children yeah. And it look like that mm-hmm. frizzy, mm-hmm. not really in the ponytail. Some in, some out. It might be yeah. a twist. There's maybe a barrette on it. Like mm-hmm. you don't feel wild. Like <laughs> your kid. Like yeah. Does your kid even feel good about themselves? <laughs> like like that's an honest question. You <laughs> yeah, know yeah. when you look good, you feel good. And yeah. if your kid is looking in the mirror and they see that, I don't like, know. If what they, are you I putting know, out there? I don't know if they know that there's a a difference. Like if that's what they 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 know. I mean, that's true. Up on, you know, what that's I'm saying? true. That's what they've been brought up on, and they think that's how you're supposed to just get off the shower and go. That's true. That's it, but when they get their hair for the first time done, like they love it. You know, when kids get oh, their hair sure. done, they love it. Yeah. I remember we was um we was at a cookout before um, mm-hmm. and it was the woman was was white, but she wasn't mm-hmm. um like the father wasn't there. I don't think they were together. But she was a white woman. She had um like three little mixed um girls, right? And um same st- same um circumstance that we just spoke about. Mm-hmm. So I sat with her, and she 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 said basically like, "Oh wow, your daughter's hair is like really nice." Da da da. She's like, "My girl's hair is just so tough." Da da da. And I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, "Listen," I was like, "My my daughter's hair is the same exact as yeah. your hair." So I just started giving her some game on like certain yeah. products she can use and um. And like, you know, comb it out from the ends and stuff like that. And just you you got and you got to do it every day. Oh, because I told her too. um, one thing she didn't know was like, you got to like you do it every day. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I mean, if you got a, like a protective style of braids right. or something, then you don't right. need to do it every day. But uh, Anaya's, um, Amy does her hair every single day before school mm -hmm. because it just, we don't, unless it's like in braids and they're tight braids. Right, and exactly. Sleep in yeah. them or something like that. But um, we literally get her, do her hair every single day. And mm -hmm. that's just, that's just a must. Like you got to do it. Yeah, you, know you have to. Like, yeah. like you said, unless it's protective style and make sure you, you know, yeah. actually protecting and putting the scarves on. Right. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I appreciate you giving some advice, but also, yeah. I mean, if you are the other mixed parent, YouTube is free. Mm, there are so many resources out there. And I know that it might be tough for you because you aren't used to it, but mm -hmm. then get some help. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you don't have the funds, like I said, YouTube's mm -hmm. free and start practicing because Mama, we talking about your kids mm -hmm. and, and, and not like in a super derogatory way, but probably we're, yeah. we're still talking about you. Yeah, like that's yeah. wild. You have your kid walking out here like that and, and help and help could be free because if you see me and I see you, like if, if our kids in the same class, I might have a conversation with you like here. That's like, a fact. Come on over. Yeah. And, and let just, me show you Even just things. like ease into it. Right. Like, oh, wow. Just talk about your own kid here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I was doing her hair this morning. Da, da, da. How often do your kids here? <laughs> right. Because... <laughs> For real, yo. It's it's just not fair. Mm -mm. It's not fair. It's not. It's and not. and and not for I nothing. Just, oh my bad. Go you ahead. No, I was gonna say I, not for. Oh, we, we just gonna do this back and forth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I was gonna say, yeah, and I yeah, don't. Yeah. I don't like kids shouldn't walk out the door looking crazy, but I don't like black kids walking out the door looking crazy because I we already know what the perception mm -hmm. is of All day. black people black children and i know that we should not care what these other people think but yeah. we are to some point uh, uh i guess to some point we all care about what people think about us we yeah. do and how we're represented and so i don't like black kids walking around looking crazy yeah. i don't no matter who the parents are no that's a fact yeah um now i was gonna say that another thing just to like i don't know if you want to say like build up confidence or just self-worth mm -hmm. and value is that our hair is so dynamic. There's so many dope things you can do with it. So much. You want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to build to that capacity or build to that, like, it's capability. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, teach, you don't, teach. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you want to do as much as you can with it because there's so many things. It's so dynamic. Yeah. Probably Braids, the most ponytail. Dynamic. Everything. It is the. It's That's the. What I'm it's not probably. It's yeah. the. Most dynamic Capital type of hair. Capital T-H-E. <laughs> most dynamic okay. type of hair. So, Yeah. That's that's a message. But. It's the <laughs> black hair. What it can do defy mm -hmm. gravity. It can become straight. Mm -hmm. We can curl it up, braid it up. Literally do everything with it. Everything. It is the, <laughs> and that's why they hating on our shit. Yo, it could dread up <laughs> and not look crazy. That's a fact. That's why they want us to come to the office looking like them. Because they're jealous. That is funny. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So that's that. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think I think we beat it. Yeah, that. we probably did. We did. Yeah. I think Jake like, yep. Jake like, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure did. <laughs> sure, sure did. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Time for today's dad joke. Dad joke. Can't wait. Yay. This about to be stupid. All right. So, why did the man fall down the well? Why did the man fall down the well? Well, water long stumbled. Why did the man fall down the well? Because he was sad. Because if you're feeling well, what is? <clears throat> why did the man fall down the well? Because he was thirsty. Um, no. Um. Why did the man fall down the well? To stumble upon happiness. Hmm. Is that your answer? Okay. I think I might be stumped on this. <laughs> Why did the man fall down the well to catch a pellet water? Jack and Jill went up the hill to catch a pellet water. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You could go. So the man fell down the well because he didn't see that well. Mm. You get it? Yeah, he didn't. It's a double on top. Well. Yeah, he, he didn't see that well. Well, in the actual well. That was that was good. That was a double entendre. It was a funny joke. 
It was it was all things in one. He didn't see that well because well is like he didn't see it that was good. Like he didn't. Yeah, was, I and get then, it. And then it was the well, just it was really on the nose. And then it, the well, it wasn't clever at all. It he was didn't just actually. In your face. He didn't see the actual it. well. You don't have to. You, just, know? you don't have to break it down. That, I think we all get it. Specifically, he didn't see that well. Right. Yeah, we all get it. Yeah, that's that's what I do. And there we have it. Dad joke. I think it's like let's say I'm it's like what seven to three right now. Let's say like here, guys. Um, yeah. what you can do is send Anthony <laughs> no, no, no. some better dad jokes. No, no, no. Some no. actual funny yeah. dad jokes. So I could be like <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you guys some funny dad jokes. Because my jokes are okay. hilarious. No, they're not hidden. They are hidden. They're not majorly. I heard Jake chuckle. No, you did not. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't me. All right. No, Dan Jake said he did chuckle a little bit. Yeah, he did chuckle. Yeah. You chuckled? Huh? He, all right. Jake, Jake yeah, chuckled. I did hear him chuckle. All right. He said it was a funnier one. All right, told you. Fine. Told you. And one of yeah. the funnier ones. That's tough because all of mine are funny. No. <laughs> That's not saying much. <laughs> Whatever. That was all good right. Enough. Sure. All right. So let's wrap this up. So... <laughs> To wrap up today's episode, we talked about the way people perceive you when they see your children. Now, what are your children putting out there for you is the question. How are you sending your kids out into the world? We said what what we do and what our hope is, and we hope to hear from you. So let us know like, like what your thoughts are. Does it matter to you? Do you care what other people think, think when they see your children or mm-hmm. they think, may think about you? Um, let us know in the comments. We'll greatly appreciate it. Ask us some questions. And um, we appreciate you guys for watching. And also, I would say, if there are any topics that you guys think that uh, would be cool to talk about, let us know. And we're definitely open to any suggestions that you may have. So hit us up. You could either say it in the comments or um, if you want to just, you know, hop in the DMs at Yes, That's My Kid on Instagram. We would greatly appreciate any suggestions that you may have. So thank you all for day. listening. Do all that. Do all that. We appreciate y'all. Yes. And, uh, thanks for listening and watching. This is Yes, That's My Kid podcast. Thank you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on the notifications. Don't miss out. Yes. On great content. All day. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Thank you. Bye. Yep. <laughs>